The FIFA 22 player ratings are in full swing and that means that some footballers from around the world are not exactly liking their new player ratings. How could we forget this iconic tweet from Romelu Lukaku a few years ago all about the ratings? Let's be honest, FIFA just messed with these ratings so we players start complaining about the game and give them more publicity. These ratings always cause a lot of drama. So first up guys, we've got Patrick Bamford with a photo that literally sums up his entire reaction to his new player rating. He does have a 78 rated card, but I think we can all agree should probably be at least 81. It's a really bad rating in my opinion from EA. Whoever selected these ratings probably missed out on Bamford's highlights last season. And as you can tell as well from his reaction, which you guys sent me on Discord, on TikTok, before that, he did also tweet this. So that's how you know he doesn't exactly love his player rating. We are the FIFA Ratings Collective. We don't take kindly to players being compared to our icons, but as the Yorkshire Perlo, how are you rating <laughs> your passing out of 99? Hey. Four. Get real, Calvin. <laughs> The collective do not look kindly on sideways and backwards passes. <laughs> 17 goals in the Premier League last season is impressive, Pat. Does that put you in the 80s for shooting? Like think so. On the table in front of you is a briefcase. You may now reveal your FIFA 22 ratings. Oh, God. 78. Nah, you're right. Oh, wow. Ow. What do you think, Pat? It's shocking. <laughs> the ratings are now locked. There's always next year. <laughs> they both don't like it, man. Next up, as you can see, is Riyad Mahrez with his 86 rated card in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. And yeah, he really doesn't like this card again. To be honest, though, I feel like that is still a great card for him. But I'm thinking that he believes himself that he should be maybe 88 rated. So comment down below quickly, what rating should Riyad Mahrez actually have? Because I feel like that's a really good card with a Hunter style that with that pace upgrade. That's going to be an amazing card, but I'm thinking he does not like his overall rating given from EA Sports FIFA. Now on to arguably the most controversial tweet so far about the FIFA 22 play ratings. And shout out here, guys, to Antonio Rudiger, who even demonstrated his pace last night in the Champions League, scoring a nearly iconic, well, nearly scoring a uh, almost iconic solo goal for Chelsea in the uh, Champions League. He does tweet here, though. Come on, EA Sports FIFA. 35.8 kilometers per hour, top speed on the pitch, and only 75 pace in FIFA 22. What do I need to get around 90 pace, 50 kilometers per hour? What a guy. Can we all give a round of applause to Antonio Rudiger? Honestly, firstly, though, it's a really good card still with 83 rating. I do like that. And his pace is quite good, but I do agree with him. He probably should have 85, maybe 88 pace, maybe even more because he knows his speed. But I guess they do calculate speed as well as not just pure sprint speed. It might be agility with that as well. But he does have a very good point. If he is sprinting at 35.8 kilometers per hour, which is quicker than maybe a lot of strikers in world football, what pace should Rudiger have? Comment down below. It makes even more sense in regards to Rudiger's tweet because Pepe has got 80 pace, five more, than Rudiger, and I believe, according to you guys on yesterday's player ratings video, Pepe think is 38. I think he's 38, and obviously Rudiger's just younger and more athletic. I'm just surprised. I'm very surprised Rudiger is slower than Pepe. Apparently, Van Dijk is slower than Pepe as well. What is going on with these ratings? I, I don't get it. Next up, though, is a very interesting one. So Scott Carson, as you guys can see, there got that silver rated card, and I believe this might be behind the scenes reaction here to his player rating, but this is what he said. He said, could be worse, pal, could have been a bronze. So obviously not exactly thrilled with this card, but at the same time, he's like, you know what? I don't really care. The player ratings to him don't mean much. This one is going to be Dortmund, and shout out to my good friend of mine, Chani Sports, who did the presenting on this. What a guy. What a legend. The rebuilding legend himself. Right, let's go. This is cool. What a sick intro.
Let's go, Chani. Grant. Dahoud. Schultz. Oh god, here we go. Also, erste Reaktion von euch. Das ist ein leichter Downgrade für mich. So hübsch, ne? Guck mal. Schwierig Knastfoto. <lacht> mehr. Ich will mich selber nicht spulen, aber mehr auf jeden Fall. 91. Ja. Ich stehe da drüber. <lacht> Einfach Jugendspieler gemacht, Bruder. <lacht> <lacht> Ratings like a youth player just coming up just like me. Jesus. <lacht> genau wie bei mir, Alter. Kennst du den, der gerade eine Bank überfallen hat? Ah ja, du hast einen Sicht rein. Ich muss mal wieder ein bisschen mehr sprinten, damit die sehen, weißt du? Ich bin einfach fast so leise wie Mats. <lacht> You're almost as slow as Matt, who? Oh my god. He obviously means Chris Hummels, not Matt Hummels. Yeah, it's been been doing that joke for five years. 70 pace. Badewanne am Rücken, ey. Ich muss jetzt an meinen Schwächen arbeiten. Ja, was glaubt ihr, haben die falsch eingeschätzt bei euch? Antritt war bei mir immer so la la, das war auch ganz gut eingeschätzt, aber warum sie jetzt acht runter genau haben? So. Julian Brand does not like the fact that his pace has been downgraded by eight. Which I also get. I mean, I don't think he's a lot different to the previous season. I mean... <laughs> These guys are brilliant, by the way. Great reactions here. <laughs> 48. Physis 76, ich bin, ja, das ist auch ein bisschen, ein bisschen mehr. Ja, schon traurig. Ja, das, das, ja. also 80 wäre auf jeden Fall bei dir angemessen, also irgendein 80er Bereich, weil der ist schon, der guckt eine Handel an und dann ist der, muss halt mal, muss halt mal. He looks at Dumbbell and ready, he's got to go. That's, yeah, that's interesting. The Dortmund players mostly did not like their ratings. Or at least they're questioning them. This is why it's so interesting looking at these. Next up, guys, is AC Milan players. We're actually doing more footballers here than I expected. Here we go. It's not a bad non-record. Oh my God. Giroud, that's not possible. My son's got more than 39 in pace. <laughs> What a reaction. Il mio figlio è più veloce che 39. Ah, dammi, dammi. 39 pace. Cosa dice? 39 pace. Ah, vabbè. Ma è meglio, è meglio. That's quality. That's quality. Right, next players are Declan Rice and Jack Grealish. Let's see what they've got to say. One defense, 79 physical, 74 dribble. Mate, I'm convinced they just sit at a computer and just, they're just well, bored, think, writing a thousand got... players down. They just go, oh, yeah, he's a 60 sign. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Declan Rice, what a guy. I do agree, though. His stats don't really make too much sense, if you guys can see that. 82 rating. And those stats, right? 66 pace, 53 shots. I think he needs probably like at least 78 passing. I do agree with him there. And again, like the rating overall doesn't really equate to his stats. Like for me, it just doesn't really make sense there. I do agree with him. They're just well, bored, think, think writing a thousand got... players down. They just go, oh, yeah, he's a 60 sign. He's a 70 <laughs> sign. Done. All right, I think you've got nice passing, but I think your passing should be higher. Like, look at... What lovely guy Jack Grealish is saying that. What, what a guy. So there are some of the craziest reactions so far from footballers around the world in the Premier League and Serie A and the Bundesliga in terms of their player ratings in FIFA 22. Which other players do you expect are going to react very, I guess, annoyed to their player rating? I'm going to predict Mason Greenwood will after a lot of people are suggesting that he will have a 78 rated card like this one over here somewhere in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Anyway, hope you guys have a special day. Thank you for all the support. Again, the amount of subscribers we're getting on the channel now is crazy. The amount of support is insane. Can't thank you guys enough. And have a very special, tremendous day ahead of FIFA 22.